In this lecture, we'll cover data interpretation and storytelling. Data interpretation and storytelling are an important part of the HR Analytics project lifecycle. So after we've analyzed the data, it's finally time to interpret the data and then figure out how we're going to tell a story about those interpretations of the data. So as far as defining data interpretation and storytelling, it's really, you can define these as a process of making sense of data analysis findings and evaluating research questions and hypotheses with respect to those findings. Now this also includes the dissemination of the findings to different stakeholders, and that's really where that storytelling component comes in as well. So we think about data interpretation and storytelling, it really requires human decision making and judgment first and foremost. So we need people who understand the context of the organization, the context of the analyses, they understand the research questions that have been formulated, but they also are human beings that are subject to making errors, subject to having biases, and they have different approaches to decision making. Now, in addition, Good data interpretation and storytelling requires understanding the context, whether that's the HR context, the business context, both, or any other thing about the data acquisition, the management, the analysis, that is pertinent information that will influence or help us provide some understanding of how to actually interpret those data. Because remember, data don't speak, they're interpreted. We need a human being to help understand and make sense of what we've analyzed and what we've acquired. Now, in addition, good data interpretation and storytelling requires understanding the research questions and hypotheses that were generated during the question formulation phase. And the reason is, is that these presumably are strategically informed and oriented questions and hypotheses you generated. So in order to keep your interpretation focused through that lens, it's important to reflect on what, were the, what was the original question or hypothesis that we were posing initially. And how can we now look at the data to see whether or not we're able to answer that question or to more formally interpret whether or not there's support for that hypothesis that we've tested. In addition, good data interpretation and storytelling requires the recognition of the needs and knowledge of different stakeholder groups that you might be working with. Potentially, those who are going to receive information about the analytical findings, how you've interpreted them, as well as hear your story on the back end. So it's really important to have these people in mind when you're focusing on interpretation and focusing on what would be meaningful to them. And this becomes particularly important when you're talking about not just whether or not something, for instance, is statistically significant, but understanding whether or not it's practically significant. That is, can this finding have real world implications? It might be statistically significant, but it, is it going to be of use? And how much use will implementing this based on this finding, or whatever the case might be, let's say it's training evaluation, how much use will implementing this new training program that seems to be more effective than the old training program, but how much more effective is it? And is it worth our investment to go ahead and proceed forward with the new training program despite the cost? In other words, do the benefits outweigh the cost? Now, finally, when it comes to data interpretation and storytelling, they really require a focus on communication, connect, connection, and clarity with different stakeholders and potential audience members. And this is really getting to that storytelling component. So let's dig a little bit deeper into data interpretation specifically. Now, it's really common that two people who have different backgrounds, different knowledge, skills, experiences at work or outside of work or educationally, and who might actually have different understandings of the context at hand, it's likely they may interpret the same data analysis findings in different ways based on that contextual information they have ready. And so it's really important to acknowledge this and recognize this as this doesn't necessarily need to be a bad thing as it can actually lead to really meaningful conversations. So this is also another reason why it's good to have at least a couple people interpret the findings because they might have a slightly different perspective especially when it comes to that idea of well how practically significant is this and well what are some ideas for how we might actually implement something based on this how could we take action based on these findings and that goes really hand in hand with that interpretation component now also when you're interpreting the data sometimes there's this iterative process of perhaps jumping back to the data analysis phase because maybe as you start to interpret things, you start raising additional questions. And so maybe that's the idea of, well, would this finding hold if we statistically controlled for this other variable in our model? Well, that would require jumping back to the data analysis phase, controlling for it, and then reinterpreting the findings.
And so often data analysis and interpretation are going hand in hand. And so it's important to remember that, that you might be jumping back and forth. In addition, although not the best case scenario, sometimes you might actually jump back to the data acquisition phase when you realize that perhaps you need to collect more data to more robustly test your questions or your hypotheses that you have formulated during that question formulation phase. Now, these are completely normal things to do, but as much as you can follow that HR analytics project life cycle sequentially, typically the more efficiency you're gonna find. But just with data interpretation and data analysis, just know you might have to cycle back and forth between these. Now let's focus more extensively on this concept of storytelling. Now, effective storytelling typically emphasizes communication, obviously, but also connection with different stakeholders and audience members, as well as a clear or having high clarity in the message itself. So again, communication, connection, and clarity are essential. Now also, it's important to remember that the person or the people who are gonna be telling the story, they're gonna have a big responsibility. One, they are controlling the message regarding how the data are interpreted. So you hope that they're on the same page as the team that work together to interpret those data, especially if these are different people that are actually going out to tell the story than who actually analyzed and interpreted the data themselves. So you wanna make sure there's some degree of fidelity there and that they understand how to interpret the, the findings appropriately. Now, in addition, the person who tells the story also has another big responsibility, and that is that they can influence the likelihood that that message or story is going to be heard and accepted by different stakeholder groups. Now, this is also quite important because this is where that influence comes in, and this is also where persuasion comes in as well. And so making sure that you have someone who can tell that compelling story that's able to clearly communicate, connect with people, and make sure that there's a high degree of clarity in the messaging and storytelling is gonna be very essential. So again, the data interpretation and storytelling phase is an integral part of the HR analytics project lifecycle. And as I mentioned before, you might end up cycling between data analysis and interpretation back and forth before you arrive at a clear story that then you can then communicate outwardly to different stakeholder groups and different people um, at different within the HR department and even outside of the HR department as well. Now, after data interpretation and storytelling, you really move on to the deployment and implementation phase. Now, that's not to say that storytelling and interpretation aren't important for deployment and implementation. You still need to have that story carrying through when you're deploying and implementing anything, any type of decision or action that you prescribed or recommended or that you plan to take based on those data analysis findings and your interpretation of them. So this wraps up the lecture on data interpretation and storytelling.